welcome to this video and this video is going to explain the vote of no confidence in the United Kingdom. In the UK there is a piece of legislation called a motion of vote of no confidence in the government that can be brought forward by any of the opposition parties. Basically it means that if this legislation is brought forward this basically means that the people bringing forward this legislation says they have no confidence in this government to carry out whatever task or running the country. And it is possible for this vote to succeed when there is a minority government. It's also possible for this motion to succeed if there is a small majority government. But the likelihood of a motion of no confidence being passed to the government if there is a majority government is very rare and very unlikely. The last time that this motion was actually successful in actually bringing down the government was in 1979 when Margaret Thatcher put forward a vote of no confidence against the minority Labour government of James Callaghan and that motion was a success and it forced an early general election in 1979 which Margaret Thatcher went on to win and then that began her journey as Prime Minister of the United Kingdom and then she governed the country until 1990. See, this motion is very rare and it's very rare that this motion is, is successful and the last time it was even proposed was in 1979. Since then, no vote of no confidence has ever been proposed by an opposition party onto the government. The reason why I'm talking about this bill now is because there is a possibility that this bill could be proposed to Parliament with 40 Conservative MPs allegedly ready to sign a vote of no confidence letter against Theresa May and with me calling for Jeremy Corbyn to bring forward a vote of no confidence to this government in the light of the Brexit negotiations we might be able to witness history. It would actually be the icing on the cake if Theresa May was to fall to a vote of no confidence after basically calling a referendum on herself and then losing her majority with Labour picking up seats all across the country in this year's general election and um, not having any mandate for this hard Brexit that she is even pursuing because if you think about it the question on the referendum was very vague and we didn't know what type of Brexit we would get if we voted leave why it would not be too far-fetched to predict that this government will fall to a vote of no confidence. We definitely predict that we will have a Labour government sooner rather than later, we just don't know when that will be, but I definitely do not predict that the Tories will win the next general election. But then I have been wrong on very ma very major predictions in the past. I predicted that the Tories would get killed in the 2015 election, that obviously didn't happen. I predicted that uh, Scotland would win their vote of independence which didn't happen and I also predicted that Labour would win this election which obviously did not happen so I've been wrong on very um, big occasions in the past but this is just another prediction and you never know what will happen in the future. If this bill does go forward to Parliament I would definitely recommend that Jeremy Corbyn is the one to propose this bill to Parliament being the leader of the opposition and being a more strengthened leader in the opposition especially after this year's general election. I think there will come a time where people have said enough is enough of this government, enough is enough of austerity, enough of enough of privatisation of our health service, enough is enough of ignoring other parts of the UK with not promising more devolution and more powers, especially to Scotland after they were promised more powers and they will basically promised max devolution at it during the independence referendum, but that obviously does not happen, so I, I definitely think enough is enough when it comes to this government. Thank you for watching this um, short video today. Thank you and have a good day.